Mr. Sunak's plans have support from motoring groups who warn too many 20 miles per hour zones could increase congestion and dramatically increase journey times. A new interactive map reveals where all the new 20 miles per hour zones will be set out in the heart of London. The map, created by the group 20s Plenty for Us, shows where every 20 miles per hour limit will be when the rollout has finished. The green areas show the new zones will be extensive and spread across the UK's biggest city from the west to the east. Some of the most affected areas are in the northeast and southeast with Croydon seeing a significant increase in 20 miles per hour zones. The new restrictions come as Prime Minister Rishi Sunak announced that he is clamping down on councils. Mr Sunak, in Manchester for the Conservative Party conference, has said he will unveil pro-motorist measures to limit councils' ability to impose the new lower speed limits. These new measures will be unveiled in a plan for motorists next week as the Prime Minister looks to win back voters ahead of the general election. His promises will reportedly include reducing the use of number plate recognition cameras and changing bus lane usage times. But the timing could not be worse as 20 miles per hour limits are phased in across the capital, leaving motorists confused and concerned about getting stung with a fine. Many are worried about being caught in the days after each new zone is introduced as they adjust to going 10 miles per hour slower. Drivers will be allowed to adjust. Speaking to the Mail, lawyer Nick Freeman explained there would be a grace period to allow drivers to adjust. He explained, what I am hearing is that the police are initially giving a warning to drivers who go over the 20 miles per hour limit. Essentially this is a honeymoon period where there is a warning but no prosecution. Mr. Freeman added, the police will, however, record the details of each driver. So there will only be one warning, after which they will enforce it. The police will be open to huge criticism if they don't enforce the 20 miles per hour limit. Though, of course, it's always about manpower and resources. Outside London, there are very few cameras enforcing the 20 miles per hour speed limit which means there is a reliance on manpower. Ahead of the new rules, Mr Sunak has pledged to fight for motorists to create a division between the Conservative Party and the Labour Party. Mr Sunak said he will crack down on anti-motorist policies and has ordered a review into low-traffic neighbourhoods, LTNs. In a statement earlier this year, he said, the vast majority of people in the country use their cars to get around and are dependent on their cars. When I'm lucky enough to get home to North Yorkshire, it's more representative of how most of the country is living, where cars are important. I just want to make sure people know that I'm on their side in supporting them to use their cars to do all the things that matter to them. Mr Sunak is supported by the head of policy at the RAC, Simon Williams, who said implementing 20 miles per hour zones in a widespread fashion may unnecessarily lengthen journey times by slowing down traffic, and possibly even increase congestion. He added that it was important for councils to strike the right balance between making roads safer and ensuring traffic of all forms flows smoothly.